Ladies and gentlemen, Rosie Flores, Cindy Cash Dollar. All right, please <clears throat> listen up, ladies and gentlemen. We have several great artists tonight, a legend or two and one king. This next gentleman has long been associated with surf guitar, which is all well and good because he has long been the dominant figure in that style, but his artistry is too vast for any single category. He was already blowing the roof off of the uh, rendezvous ballroom not far from here in legendary performances before anybody ever thought to call what he does surf music. It's appropriate that he's here tonight, not only because he's a great guitar player and a great entertainer, but he knew Leo Fender well. He knew him longer than anybody here tonight. He is a Fender man to his bones. He has played Fender exclusively his whole career. This gentleman goes so far back with Fender that when Leo Fender gave him a Stratocaster, it was Leo Fender's brand new invention. He was also blowing up amplifiers, frying speakers, literally setting amps on fire. Mr. Fender and JBL responded not only with a new model, but a new top of the line. We think of it as the classic piggyback showman, but for this man, it was simply the amplifier that his dear friend that Leo Fender built to his specification. And there it is right there. Uh, he's a very nice man, but he plays guitar like a bat out of hell, so buckle up, everybody, and please welcome the once and forever king of the surf guitar, Dick Dale. <laughs> 